How long have you been doing this? Uh, today's my first day at work. Really? This is a great start to uh, to one of our videos. It's like perfect. You said it at the perfect time when the when the camera is already rolling. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Um, young gentleman has come here for a second opinion, has been battling for a very, very long time uh, in the acute phase, uh, we'll say the last acute because it's been like 20 years, but acute in the last two years, which really makes it a chronic problem. Uh, nonetheless, two years has been, uh, has been seeing someone else. Uh, they really, I guess, there has been an element of improvement, a little bit, but he's seeking maybe a little bit more improvement. And I was just telling him this is a great case for a lot of great reasons, just because so many people battle, right? Whether it's fungus, ugly toenails, nails that, you know, are dystrophic, they're thick, they're disc they, you know, they don't look well. And, you know, even a young gentleman who's 35 years of, of age, even at 35, his nails don't even really grow, and that's part of the problem. So, you know, the most important thing that I recommend, a lot of people ask me, hey, Dr. Wagner, you know, what, what should we do? What do we do? First thing is to identify, just in general, right? Identify the problem is number one. And in his case, he had never had, we'll just say, a biopsy of the nail. Is it fungus? Is it uh, bacteria? Is it... Um, yeast is a mold we have to identify because for you know for all intents and purposes the clinician could be you know treating something completely different with a specific medication do you agree Caesar Caesar me yeah 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 uh, so you know in his particular case you know, we don't have a, a biopsy, uh, you know, to really identify what this is, but we're going to go ahead and uh, nonetheless, I wouldn't change the treatment plan. And that's exactly why we're going to go ahead and just remove both uh, nails. So without further ado, I'll continue to talk as we, as we perform the procedure. Let's go. So as everyone uh, can clearly see the, the great toenail as well as the second uh, we're not going to really, the same thing is, uh, I guess since you're here, we're not going to really do anything here because I am going to place the, the patient on a, on a pulse dose course of oral terbinafine, the lamb cell. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do so we can gain some traction, problem is that this, this nail is not even growing. It's growing up, number one. Number two, it's loose. Uh, same thing here. Uh, it's barely, you know, these nails barely, you know, are, they're, you know they're not growing. So we're gonna go ahead and, and I usually don't like to remove just toenails just to remove them. But when, you know, when we try to put the puzzle together, which that's exactly what we did today, uh, we have agreed that the best thing is to basically start from scratch, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and do. See, everything is just, very loose here in the proximal nail fold usually historically you know this is really tight here right the skin is really attached uh, but it's not so this is a really nifty trick um, I learned this from one of my mentors you go like this you okay there okay let me just go like this Come through here and do this. Boom. And just like that. Uh, we do have a little bag there if you need to. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so that was pretty simple, right? That was, uh, I think, my mentor for that little trick. It's coming really, really handy. So. What do we do? We inspect the nail bed. Looks really, really great. Okay. 
nice and clean. It's not that dystrophic. It's, it's not the nail bed is, is, is well preserved. So, you know, that's a good thing. Now we'll go ahead and do, you know, the same to the... So, you know, uh, we just had, uh, we had to stop the video there for a split second. You know, the patient got a little emo, right? A little emotional just because, you know, it's, it's very liberating, you know, he was just, we were just talking now for about five, you know, three, four minutes about that, you know, him, him seeing this every single day. This may seem really, really silly, maybe for a lot of people, but for a lot of people that have not battled, you know, these clinical presentations, it can take an emotional, you know, toll on them. And, you know, we're here in Miami, right? You know, open-toed shoes, beach, sandals. And he was just telling me that he would never really like show his toes to anyone just because, he, you know, something as simple as this, but something as simple as this does mean something. You know, and at the end of the day, we're human beings. I cannot forget that. So, you know, same thing, loosen the back, right? Just kind of like this, like this. This one, you see the difference, everyone? This one's a little bit, you know, a little bit tighter now again. The nifty trick, come in, turn, bring, move, move. There it is. This may seem a little barbaric for some people. Please do not be alarmed. The patient uh, decided no, he opted for no anesthesia. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then we just kind of go either like this or like this, and it just comes off like that. Please do not perform this, I, please. Uh, this is, uh, it's always a, you know, something that Caesar and I always talk about people doing this stuff in their bathrooms or garage. Because everything, everything's basically step by step. But nonetheless, right, we didn't use any, uh, there's no tourniquet, right? There's no need, you know, see, you know, that's blood, normal. And that's it. Fantastic. So what we're going to go ahead and do now. A little antibiotic cream there. They're having a party out there, as always. Okay, and we're going to kind of go like this. And like this. And then we'll put a nice little bandage there. We have the, the baby boy and the baby girl here. So what's the, what's the protocol? The protocol in, in a case like this is, you know, we are not going to send the piece of the nail to have it analyzed because it would not change the ultimate, right, treatment plan. I would still recommend a short course of the oral terbinafine, the Lamisil, the pill that everyone is scared, right? Oh my God, OMG. The liver, watch out. We only have one liver. It doesn't work like that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that and hope in conjunction with other treatments and then hope that the new nail that grows out, we will try to maximize not only the appearance, but maximize, you know, the rate. Make sure that we're gonna try is the key word here. Try, make sure it comes out nice and clean. Caesar, what do you think? Well, it happens for the patient. This is, you know, this is this is a great case. I mean, yeah, it was very, you know, we as humans need to be very mindful. And that's something that we've learned throughout the years here, you know, especially, you know, in cases where people just, they just, it's very, like I said before, it's very liberating. It's just another body part We will continue to do what we do. We will continue to educate the world. And uh, this is kind of cliche, the, you know, the patient is actually uh, a teacher. So he's very keen on education as well, I suspect. Uh, we will continue to do what we do, but we will continue to educate the world one foot and one toe at a time. You like that one? <laughs> we will continue to do what we do. Education is the key at the core.
always. Jesus, do you want to close this one? Thank you for watching.